With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so our question is a gas expands isothermally against a constant external pressure which is given 1 atm from a volume of 10 decimeter cube to a volume of 20 decimeter cube and during absorption, during expansion, it absorbs 80 joule of thermal energy from its surrounding. So we have to find the change in internal energy. Here isothermally means in this case the temperature is constant. That is there is no change in temperature. That is delta T is equal to 0. Here it has been given the volume V1 as 10 decimeter cube. And we know that 1 decimeter cube is equal to 1 liter. So it will be. 10 decimeter cube will be 10 liter. Similarly, we can say that 20 decimeter cube will be 20 liter since 1 liter is equal to 1 decimeter cube. Now, here we will use the first law of thermodynamics which tells about the law of conservation of energy. It states that the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be transformed from one form to another which is indicated by the formula that delta U is equal to Q plus W where Q is the heat exchange between system and surrounding and W is the work done. The Q is categorized by two things whether it will be positive or negative. If the heat is being added then it will be considered positive and if it is being removed then it will be considered negative. Similarly the same concept, concept will work by the work done as well. Here if the work done is negative then the work done is by the system if the work done is positive then it is work done on the system so this is all about the concept that must be kept in mind while solving the equation or the question here it absorbs 800 joule that is the q is given plus 800 joule and here there is the expansion is taking place. So, for this, we have to use the formula. We know that the work done is equal to minus P external V2 minus V1. Here, uh, P is given 1 atm. So, work done will be minus 1 atm. Here, V2 is given 20 liter and V1 is given 10 liter. So, on solving it, we get minus 1 atm multiply 10 liter on solving it we get minus 10 liter atm and we know that 1 atm liter is approx 101.3 joule so we can convert it into a joule so it will be 10 multiply 101.3 joule which will approximately come at minus 1013 joule here negative sign indicates that the work is done by the system now here what will happen using the first law of thermodynamics we can easily find the delta u that is change in internal energy here the q that is heat absorbed is 800 joule minus 1013 joule now on solving it we get delta u as minus 213 joule which is exactly matching with our third option so it will be the correct answer i hope you got this concept thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today